What is up, guys? Jay Plays here, back again with a brand new episode. This is episode number 20 in our Orc Warlock retail series. Guys, I want to apologize. I, I did uh, take a couple months off. Um, I had a lot of family stuff that was going on, um, and I kind of had to put things down for a little while, and I apologize for that. But um, I'm not abandoning the series or anything. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions lately that's are, are you coming back what's going on and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I definitely plan on continuing this channel um, I don't plan on stopping um, but there are times where I do have kind of a lot to juggle in real life and I and I do have to kind of take a break um, and I apologize and um, it's not my intention to kind of go long bouts without recording anything but um, I just I, I thought I would owe you guys the uh, the explanation as to why I kind of took that hiatus for a little bit. Um, but needless to say, we are back. We're, we are on our Orc Warlock. It's been a minute. Um, looks like we only have one quest to do. Um, it's to chop down some... Look, chop, chop Chop is what it's called. Fresh Cut Frostwood we have to collect. Ten of them. Um, I'm not really sure what that, what that means. I don't really remember anything that we've done on this character. Uh... <laughs> So, I'm kind of going to have to get my feet wet again. But I'm excited. I, I, I've been wanting to kind of jump back into this. Oh, okay, so we just got to kill... Yeah, we just got to kill these Treant guys. Wow. Yeah, I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing classic. Like once again, like when I don't have time to record, and when I do have some free time, I, I just play classic. Just because, honestly, uh, I I do have a little bit more fun playing classic. And um, it just when you get used to it and you jump back to retail, it's the graphics are just so much better. So the more I read on it, guys, and the more like research I I do, and the more things I hear uh, about Dragonflight, I'm I'm really excited for that expansion. It looks pretty interesting, honestly. I know there's kind of like a dilemma right now where it's like uh, people are worried that. Blizzard is kind of all talk and and there's nothing really that's gonna change. This is just gonna be another uh, Another bad expansion But I really do think that they're kind of at this point guys where it's like We have to we have to step up. We have to figure it out. We have to make this game exactly what our players want otherwise there's not going to be any more World of Warcraft, and this is their cash cow. Um, they use this game to generate, I think, most of the revenue. I don't think they make nearly as much money from uh, the other games that they do offer. So if they lose WoW, they're taking a huge hit, and they 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 can't they can't do that. So they're going to do everything that they can. I think they've really realized with with Shadowlands that. People aren't going to play this game if it sucks. And that's just bottom line. I have a PvP talent and I have no idea what to use it on. Chaos Bolt creates a five yard wide eruption of fell fire under the target, reducing movement speed by 50% and reducing all healing received by 25% on all enemies within the fissure. Last six seconds. Um, so Chaos Bolt basically rem 
uh, causes movement impairing effects. Curse the ground with a demonic bane, causing all of your single target spells to also strike targets marked with the bane. So this is like a, we can attack multiple targets if we put this thing on. That might be kind of cool, but I just don't really see the need for AoE in PvP. Reduces the new target's maximum health by up to 15% for 10 seconds. Nice, that might be kind of cool. Your next curse of exhaustion, curse of tongues, or curse of weakness is amplified. Um, curse of exhaustion reduces the target's movement speed by an additional 20%. Curse of tongues increases casting time by an additional 40%. Curse of weakness, enemy is unable to critically strike. Nether Ward surrounds the target with a shield that lasts 3 seconds, reflecting all harmful spells cast on you. Summons a casting circle for 12 seconds while within the casting circle, you're, you are immune to silence and interrupt effects. Hmm. I have no idea what to take here. I should probably look it up. But... I guess the Bane of Havoc would be nice for like questing because I think that out in the world these talents are still active. This replaces Havoc. Do we even have Havoc on our bar? Oh yeah, we do. What does Havoc do? Are we not using that? What is this? Marks a target with Havoc for 10 seconds, causing your single target spells to also strike the Havoc victim for 60% of normal initial damage. Yet yeah, we're not using this. We should probably use this. Um, I think I'm going to go with the shield. And this is probably a stupid idea. But I feel like the shield might be useful. We'll see. We can always change it later. Last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to try out this wand. Um, wanding doesn't do anything in uh, in retail WoW, well, from what I remember anymore. Uh, um, how do we shoot? But I'm curious. Literally, like, does it? It does it no damage. Here, hold on. Stop, stop attacking. It does a little bit. Ah, huh. it's kind of a bummer. I wish wanding was still a thing. I'm actually currently in the process of leveling a a priest in classic and um, wanding is like a necessity So after coming back, the levels of the sound were all kind of different. So I kind of had to just to make some quick adjustments to them. But let me know. I mean, I think we could probably turn up the music a little bit. I like the music a little louder than it is. What's up? Show me the lumber. 
not a bad haul. Maybe we should look into growing those treants instead. We get a new ring. Here you go. One instant super grow insta tree made with 80% natural ingredients. No roots, no muss, no fuss. Just give it to Kilram and make sure he stands the heck back when he uses it. Deliver the super grow insta tree to Kilram at the inn in, in Everlook. What's beyond your mind? Chop chop. All right. Stand back now and watch what a true quality weapon can do. Spirits. Jesus. It's just one shop. What can I do for you? Brutes and amateurs. It doesn't matter how sharp or heavy your weapon is, if all good or all of it if blah, 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 if all it's good for is hacking like an ogre. I could go on about finesse and speed and balance and control, but it's easier to one up these fools. Tell Dees we've got one more order for him. I need a block of ice. Speak with Dees Rock Snitch. See you around. Talk to me. Oh, it's you again. I'm so surprised. Ice this time? Oh boy, sure. I've got good news and bad news for you. The good news is that there's a bunch of pure solid ice over in the Ice Thistle ca Hills Cavern, straight east from Everlook. The bad news is, there's also a bunch of vicious yetis in there. But if you can handle the yeti, hey, piece of cake. Just walk right up to the bigger chunks and crack them open with your weapon. Bring it all back to me and I'll do my thing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go uh, kill some yeti and grab some uh, glaciers of ice. It looks like uh, Umi Rumplesnicker has some quests for us, and they're Yeti related, it looks like. So let's check these out. My friends are always coming up with great ideas. I've never felt like I could match them until today. I just drew up the plans for something great. If you promise not to tell, I'll let you in on the secret. I'm going to make a mechanical Yeti. Not only are my friends sure to be freaked out when they see it, but when they get over that, I know they'll be impressed. I need thick yeti fur from the ice thistle yeti. There's plenty of them in the ice thistle hills to the southeast. A lot of goblins have been going missing out there in the ice thistle hills. I was almost one of them. I had the idea to set up a sensor to tell us when the yeti were getting close to Everlook. Of course, it's not working either. There's yeti all over the hills and I haven't heard a peep from it. Would you mind checking on it for me? It might still be fixable. Echo 3 set up to the southeast on the edge of Ice Thistle Hills. Don't ask what happened to Echo 1 and 2. Find Echo 3. I can't make a Yeti without horns. I've been looking for what seems like forever for the perfect set of horns, and no horn I find is good enough. But just the other day I saw the biggest Yeti in Winter Spring. I named him Ice Womp. His horns are the ones I've been looking for. He lurks all the way in the back of the cave along the eastern ridge of Ice Thistle Hills. Bring me his horns, but be sure to check on Echo 3 along the way. So it looks like we have a lot of quests to go in the area that we were originally sent to. There's one more quest in this inn. I want to check, see what that is. Let's see. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I think this is sending us to sell at this. So we are not going to grab this quest for now. I think that's why it's still there. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the Ice Thistle Hills, I believe is what it's called, and see what's going on. I, I do have a fresh cup of coffee sitting in front of me that I do plan on drinking. So if you, if you guys hear some, some slurping in the, uh, <laughs> in the background, I apologize. obnoxious i'll try and edit it out um all right so we got a bunch of yeti here
I'm just gonna kill my way in. We'll collect the Yeti fur on our way in there. Which it probably helps if I take my pet off passive. Someone did comment um, on one of my mo more recent videos that they don't think we're using all of our spells. Um, and I read that comment and I kind of thought about it and I went through my spell book. And from what I can tell, unless I'm missing something here, we are. Um, I know not using, like actually utilizing these spells that are on my bar. No, definitely we're not utilizing all of them. But as far as having them on my bar, I'm pretty sure we do. Because I believe it would be highlighted like this, the Eye of the Killrog is, if we don't have it on our bar. Um, so we don't have this on our bar, which we do because it's right here, the Shadow Pool work. Um, we don't have the Subjugate Demon. Um, sub sub subjugates the target demon up to level 45, forcing it to do your bidding for five minutes, which, I mean, I guess we can put it on our bar, but I just don't really feel like we're needing that at the moment. Um... And then I have the kill rog. I'm not putting on my bar. That's just a pointless spell. There's no point to that at all. And everything else we do have on our bar. So I'm not. I'm not sure. Part of this machine is still moving, but on closer inspection, it's been severely manhandled. The metal is dented and cracked, and there's a huge there's huge footprints in the snow all around it. In fact, it sounds like something's approaching right now. It's a Yeti. Hit the icicle to break free. So here's Ice Womp. Class Hall Helm earned? What do you mean Class Hall Helm earned? Not really sure what that means. Uh, um, this is the ice we need to break, I think, right? I'm not sure if I'm doing that correctly. TBH. The good news is we have a ton of rested XP. <laughs> being logged out in an inn for two months. We'll definitely do that for you. So 
So I'm still not really sure what we're supposed to do. How do we collect the ice? Let's... So are we, we're supposed to just crack them open with our weapon, is what it specifically says to do. Uh, we did just get a new talent point too. We'll check that out in just a second once we get out of this cave. I'm actually really excited to get to level 50 because I want to experience the Shadowlands content because I haven't yet. I have not yet done Shadowlands. I know the feedback on it isn't great, but I still want to at least see it. We're not getting any of these. We got one. Two at a time, let's go. Seriously though, like I, I legit feel invincible on this character. I, I feel like we could die if we tried. I'm pretty sure we've died before, but it st still just feels that way. It feels like I could probably pull this whole room And would be totally fine. I, I literally haven't had to use Drain Life at all. I'm almost thinking about skipping this quest. If it's seriously gonna take this long to do. I don't I don't get what we're doing wrong here. Huh. I guess we'll just fight our way out. See what happens. Uh, 
At least I hope this is the way out. Try this one. Still nothing. It's got a green item. Two-handed, uh, two-handed sword. That thing looks pretty sick. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys, um, why we've done so many of those. And we're not getting the, the actual ice chunks from them. You would think that would be like 100%. hundred percent rate quest. I'm going to kind of scout through here one more time. All right. So we got the solid ice. I'm going to try standing right on it. Nothing. Let's try and... Okay, so the spell worked. I hit it with a spell. And we got it. So, let's try that again. Yep, it works with the spells. I can't, I literally can't physically hit it. It will not work. Which is stupid because that's literally what the quest says to do. Havoc spell is pretty cool. Well, it's too bad we didn't get it on the first go around because if I would have known that, I would have just been doing that the whole time.
Live and learn. Now we know for the next time we come to Winter Spring. See any ice? Okay, here's some actually. Never mind. Smoke too soon. Probably gonna have to kill this thing again. I don't see any other way around it. Let's go, Blood Fury. Now we can get out of here. Is our hearth set to ever look? I think it is. We can probably hearth. And if it's not, then uh, I guess we're walking. Okay. Thankfully, it was <laughs> set to winter spring, so we we're good there. That saved us quite a bit of time. I use money, friend. Not bad. Let's hope they don't ask for lava or something next, right? All right. One high quality, pure grade instant ice block. I tried selling these to people for protection for a while, you know? Like that trick you see mages pull? Couldn't figure out the whole breathing thing, though. <laughs> Deliver the instant ice block to Cyril. Alright, and then let's go over here and turn in these as well. Hey, how you doing? These furs are perfect. We're off to a great start here. Are they perfect? They better be perfect. I can't wait to show my friends. Now I just wait a moment while I attach, or now just wait a moment while I attach these. It's all ready, Jay plays. Now I told my friend Legaki that I have a surprise for her. This is where you come in. I'm gonna give you my mechanical yeti, and you'll get the honor of using it to surprise her. She's just on the other side of Everlook, near the inn. Go up to her and turn the yeti on. I'll be watching from there. Scare Legaki with Umi's Mechanical Yeti. Looks like we, uh, we get the Mechanical Yeti. We get some new boots, too. You need something? Ah, you're back. Perfect. Now you'll see what really matters in a weapon. Finesse. What you two are lacking is control, he says. Dang, he just like sculptured this. Or sculpted, sculptured. <laughs> sculpted it, uh, an ice statue. Okay, where is. Okay, here's Lagaki. Let's put the mechanical Yeti down. Oh, jeez. She's just running around town now. Yeah, what do you want? She'll never expect it. No, she didn't. She's, she's scared out of her mind. Ha! She'll think twice before making fun of my ideas then. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have had so much fun without you. Keep it real. 
All right. Summon some mechanical yeti that will protect you for 10 minutes. That's kind of fun. Greetings. We have isolated Umbrance's position here in Winter Spring. It is as I suspected. Umbrance is at Maz Thoril, the cavern that once belonged to the Blue Dragon Flight. In the southwest, my mother, Hala, will greet you there. She is stations, stationed outside the cave in a small camp with a few other survivors. Look for her campfire. Next we meet. Oh gosh, what does this goblin want now? Yo! You've been pretty busy around here. If you're still eager to do, think, do good deeds or just get paid, I've got something, something you might be interested in. Starfall Village is just northwest of Everlook. The night elves there recently suffered a pretty nasty bug infestation, and they're asking for any help they can get. A few goblins from here already went there to start exterminating, but I'm sure there's room for more. Talk to Wind Night Chaser, he'll fill you in. So it's sending us two different places. And I think we're gonna go here first, and then we'll head down here. Before we get moving, let's go ahead and choose our talent. Once again, I still have no idea. Uh, we get the choice between Roaring Blaze, Conflagrate increases your Immolate, Incinerate, and Conflagrate damage to the target by 25% for 8 seconds. Uh, Reign of Chaos, while your initial Infernal is active, every Soul Shard you spend has a 15% chance to summon an additional Infernal that lasts 8 seconds. Or Grim, Grim, Grimoire of Sacrifice sacrifices your demon pet for power gaining its command demon ability and causing your spells to sometimes also deal 160 additional shadow damage. I think I'm going to go with the Roaring Blaze that can flagrate extra 25% uh, damage. Sounds nice. All right, let's go ahead and head up here. Welcome to Starfall, Warlock. We have opened our doors to all travelers in our time of need. The infestation of our Barrow Den occurred nearly overnight. Vicious creatures never before seen in these lands swarmed in the tunnels, hatching from the unseen eggs. With the few of us here, it was all we could do to keep them from spreading outside the den. We were forced to hire goblins from Everlook that claimed expertise in extermination but they have not yet been successful. If you wish to assist them, enter the Barrow Den to the southwest of this lodge and speak with Rino Curtainfire. Luckily, when the infestation occurred, no druids were slumbering in the western Barrow Den. It is still a sacred site to us. However, and, how, er, yes. <laughs> it is still a sacred site to us, however, and its depths hold blessed relics kept there undisturbed for ages. While I am somewhat trusting of our goblin exterminators, I am also familiar with the habits of their race. Please retrieve any relics you can find in the burrow den and bring them back to me so they are not damaged. They are within urns nestled in the small alcoves throughout the den. So we're going in there because he just doesn't trust the goblins to handle it. How many Barrow Dens do the Night Elves have? Don't waste my time. 
Oh, good. Another warm body. I hope that elf up there didn't bore you to death. We've got a lot of bugs to kill here. Go, go. I still got no clue where all these bugs came from. My best guess is the cataclysm stirred up some underground nests we never knew about. No use getting distracted with that when they need killing. Kill 10 cold, cold lurk creepers and 5 cold lurk burrowers. My fellow siblings are already further down in the den trying to deal with these bugs, and they're starting to get overwhelmed. I say it's time to gas the place. Take these fumigators, don't go setting them off yourself. It takes a highly trained professional and proper timing. Just find my sisters and pass them out. Rema should be positioned closest to the entrance. Head down to the corridor and keep to your right once you go down the ramp. On your way. All right, let's kill some bugs. I think that we won't spend too much time going in all the nooks and crannies in here. We'll just kill our way. There's one of the urns. On the street. We're bringing out the bug spray, eh? I guess it can't be helped. Or I guess it can't be helped. I'm gonna start setting this up. Next one goes to Marcy, further down the den. Head down the corridor here and look for her in the next main chamber. Glad I could help. She's down there. Yeah, what do you want? Wasn't expecting to see a stranger down here. Fumigators from Reno? Jeez. You think Reno can have sent more than a single orc down here to give us a hand? That freeloader. I'm gonna set this up. Head north from this room though, or through the corridor, and look for Sana. She's probably gotten herself lost in the last chamber, so check the side passages once you get there. Be careful out there. I know this isn't the right way. The one thing that I'm disappointed about with World of Warcraft is that like all of the, they use the same they use the same cave for like all like any borrow den is going to look exactly like this i feel like unless i'm wrong unless there's different different models but they use the same model like this is the same one that's in the night elf starting zone cuz we just did this in our uh, classic let's play for the druid 
and it's the exact same layout, just different monsters in it. And I think it would be really cool that like every cave that you go into, you have a completely different adventure. Like you, you gotta explore differently. You have no idea what's going on because it's different every time. Sturdy treasure chest. Whoa there. Binds when equipped. We can probably sell that on the auction house. Alright, here is Sauna. Yo. What are you doing here? Reno sent you. And you brought fumigators? Ugh. Just got some new shoulders, I believe? Yes, and they did upgrade to rare, so that's pretty cool. They don't look as cool, but, you know. Say there, Warlock. Do you like meat? Even better, do you like money? I've got a second cousin who's making a killing in the frozen meats business. He set up a smoking pit up north and he's looking for help hunting all the dangerous beasties that always tend to taste so good. Carnivores pay well, friend. I'm too heavily invested here in the borrowed den. What was I thinking? So I might as well pass the tip on to a helpful orc like yourself. His name's Jez. Head northeast and look for the smoke. Keep it real. All right, so now we got to get out of this cave. So I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's all we had to do. I wonder if it'd be faster to go the way we came since we've already cleared it. Let's just, let's just run through here. Curious to see how much experience we get, because I haven't been paying attention. We really don't get that much. The rest did. All right, we made it. What? Hey, nice work. If you ever want to come back and kill some more bugs for absolutely no additional reward, please feel free. Let's 
funny. Because <laughs> we've already completed the quest, so. I get it. All right. Talk to our night elf buddy. They may not look like much to you, but these relics hold great value to the people of Starfall. You were kind, Jay, please. And we just got Banish. What does Banish do? Banishes an enemy demon aberration or elemental preventing any action for 30 seconds. So it has to be one of those. We're five out of eight chapters done. Means uh, we've done a bulk of it, but we still got a little bit left to go. Look around you. You're looking at the largest goblin known hunting reserve in Kalimdor. I've got the license to shoot and eat everything that walks on the snow from here to Everlook. And let me tell you, they're good eating. <laughs> Doesn't that smell great? My smoked meats got get top dollar, and nobody else provides the exotic flavors I've got out here in the hills. And it's efficient. You just do the hunting for a small fee, and my other fine friends drag the beast back here for skinning and smoking. I've got the market cornered on Frost Saber meat right now. Absolutely delicious stuff. Makes great sausages. Head out and hunt those cats just west of here, and we'll call this we'll call that a start. Right back. I don't have a very discerning palate, but I even I can't stand the taste of those chimeras that you'll find around here. Their eggs, however, are a different story. Chimera eggs are the richest, most buttery eggs you'll find this side of Ogremar. Way better than the boring owl eggs, and not as sulfurous as those weird wildkin eggs. I'll take as many of them as you can gather. Head northeast and look for their nest in the snow. <laughs> Glad I could help. Quite a bit of quests over here. Feeling. Have you ever had the luxury of trying bear meat? I've never had the chance to try it in Gilneas, but the bears here are simply exquisite. The shard tooth bears that roam just to the south are well marbled with fat from the cold here. I've been hunting them myself, and it's, qu and it's quite a lark, but I much prefer eating them. I recommend you try your hand at the hunt. Stick to the white pelted shard tooth bears, and the captain will go to field to bring back any you kill. Good day. I've been eating owls my whole life. Owls is good eating, and my friend Jez agrees. I was the first one that told him to sell owl. Mr. Fancy Pants Worgen here says bears taste better, but don't pay him no mind. You should go hunt yourself some owl. There's plenty of them wandering just south of here. Stick to the gray ones for now, and buzz me on the little talky thing Jez gave you when, you're rack when you've racked up a few. See you later. We got a lot of killing to do, guys. Um, give me just a second. I just got to check one thing uh, and see how we're doing on time because I forgot to look at the timer.
All right, so we're getting close to an hour. Um, but I think that we do have time to go ahead and do these quests here. Basically, just have to kill everything in sight. to do a lot of killing actually because we need like 15 of these bear tooth I'm gonna try and round up a lot We didn't get like one bear tooth thing. Wish I had more instant cast spells. Oh, so this isn't a drop. I just realized this isn't even a drop quest. This is a kill quest. That makes it so much easier. Just trying to round these up. So we need six more of each.
All right. Uh, okay, we need to stay off in this direction. This one's done. Captain's been bringing back bags full of owl, and I can't wait to try it. Maybe Mr. Fancy Pants Francis here will even try some. Them smaller owls are sure tasty, but Good Grub said there's says there's even bigger ones further south. Screechers, the folks around here call them. They make a heck of a noise when you tussle with them. But he says they're the best owls he's ever tasted or sold, and I believe him. Why don't you go rustle up some of those for us while I keep arguing with Francis here. I'm gonna kill more owls. We still gotta collect the eggs too, the Chimerian, Ch Chimerian, Chim Chimerian, I guess how you say it. Simply splendid. I've been watching the captain bring bear after bear back to camp, and I can't wait to see them thrown on the smoker. Perhaps I'll have a taste of them raw. Many find the meat of the shark tooth bears to be too ga gamey for their taste. I disagree, though. I'm not one to judge the taste of others. The shark tooth maulers, however, their brown furred cousins to the south have much more tender flesh, particularly in their paws, and I've heard that the snout is also considered a delicacy. Continue your hunt, Jay plays. Let's see if you can bag those maulers for old Francis. Um, okay, but where are the eggs at? So they're also up north. Well, there's the chimera. These things are kind of cool looking. Oh, this is a rare. Getting a lot of greens. I'm out of range.
Seems like no matter like where the closest one of these guys is gonna aggro as soon as you loot the eggs. So I'm just trying to kill him. I think this guy will probably aggro too. Yep. got two from that one. The hell? My void walker should keep him busy. I can probably loot the rest of these. Ah, oh, I got chipped. I still need one. Let's go find one more egg pile. go this guy all the way over here aggros All right, well, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sit on top of this mountain right here. Oh, look at this view. This is cool. Ah, I love this game. Anyway. Um, we're going to call it an episode here, guys, just because we are going over on time. Um, I do try my best to keep the episodes around an hour. Um, I don't mind going over a few minutes, but I think that the rest of these quests, if we tried to finish these, would put us way over the hour mark. So um, he might aggro us. Stay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned because there is going to be more episodes coming um, frequently again. Uh, I apologize for the long break that I took, but I, I'm going to be back at it um, going forward. So uh, stay tuned for episode number 21 because this was episode 20. Yeah. Yes. Um, so stay tuned for episode 21. Um, I'm really excited to get to, to 50 uh, because then, like I said, we're going to be going into the Shadowlands content and we will continue our adventures there um, and get to 60. Um, and also, uh, let me know what you guys want to see us level next. Um, I'm thinking more of a melee class uh, is something that I would be kind of interested in. Uh, even maybe like a hunter or something, uh, something that we could just have some fun. Um, I really like pulling multiple mobs at once, so I think maybe like a paladin or a warrior would be kind of fun because we could run in there and aggro a bunch up. And um, But I've never played a rogue um, retail um, or a classic for that matter, so that might be kind of cool to see. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll probably end up putting another poll out like we did last time with the classic series, but um, yeah, if you guys would drop it, feel free to drop it in the comments as well. All right, but I'm out, guys. I will catch you next time. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Peace out.